Hello, good day everyone. Well, today I'm enjoying a beautiful fall day with friends in Yosemite National Park, exploring one small part of God's spectacular creation. Driving and walking through Yosemite, experiencing its valley, its rivers, waterfalls, and grand vistas, I see God's majesty and power reflected in His creation, His love and blessings for us, and my heart is drawn to Him. As I thank our Lord and praise Him, the hymn, Come Thy Fount of Every Blessing, comes to mind and seems very fitting for this spectacular location. The hymn begins, Come Thy Fount of Every Blessing, Tune my heart to sing Thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, Calls for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, Sung by flaming tongues above, Praise the mount, I'm fixed upon it, the mount of thy redeeming love. The hymn was written by Robert Robinson, an English pastor in 1758. The truths of God's blessing, grace, mercy, and redeeming love that it sings about and praises God for are never ceasing, redeeming, life-giving for us today as when the hymn was originally penned. As I experience and appreciate the grandeur and beauty of Yosemite, the idea of the time and the physical processes required to shape Yosemite into the area we enjoy today, I think of God's plan, His timing for sending His Son Jesus, His redeeming love for us. God's Word to us, the Bible, is all about God's love for us, His patience with us, and His desire that we come into relationship with Him through His Son, Christ Jesus. Both the Apostles Peter and Paul teach us and encourage us to be patient, trust in the Lord, and accept His redeeming love, Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, we are taught, the Lord is not slow to fulfill His promises, some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. And in Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5, Paul teaches, But when the set time had fully come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. Our God is the fount, the source of every blessing, grace, and mercy, all contained in His redeeming love, His Son, Jesus Christ. As the Apostle John teaches us in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. This calls for our loudest praise. For those of us who claim Christ as our Lord and Savior, this calls for us to tune our hearts to sing of God's grace and love by sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with others through our actions, our attitudes, and our words. Thank you for listening. God bless you and your family.